Welcome. In this talk, I will present our current work about point cloud registration in compressed large-scale environments. The registration problem tries to estimate the transformation that aligns the source point cloud with the target cloud such that both are in the same coordinate frame. In the example below, the red source cloud is around 90 degrees and a couple of meters misaligned against the target. Point cloud registration, even under very bad initial guess, is a common problem in localization or geometry estimation or when searching for loop closers in SLAM. The scalability of such systems is usually limited by the huge amount of memory it takes to store large scale maps. If we run, for example, store point cloud maps as the ones we have shown before, for all the streets in Kyoto, it would require around over 1.3 terabyte of memory. And by this, we only covered one city. One solution would be compression. But for now, it is rarely investigated if we can still do the registration in those maps and in the best case, even without decompression. In general, the registration problem is often divided in two parts. First, we have to find the corresponding points between the source and the target point clouds, which we can then use in the second step to estimate the transformation. In classical ICP, one assumes that the spatial closest point should correspond. Even though this is done iteratively, ICP often does not converge to the right solution, especially when having a bad initial guess. But is there maybe something better and meaningful than taking the closest point? We propose to do the matching based on features which are directly optimized for the correspondence search. To make the procedure differentiable, we have to use soft assignments instead of hard assignments for the matching. First, we compute for each target point the feature similarity to all the source points. Instead of taking the point with the most similar feature, we compute a new point based on the linear combinations of all the source points. The higher the feature similarity, the higher the weight. Due to the direct SVD-based solution for estimating the transformation, we can BEP propagate directly through a post loss to optimize the feature for matching. Our network builds on top of a point cloud compression module, which allows us to save memory and compute. This is a sketch of our pipeline. As input, we have two dense point clouds, the source and the target. For our experiments, we created maps like these, which have a 40 x 40 meters footprint. The point clouds have been recorded at different points in time, and the transformation between the source and the target can be even off by 180 degrees. Both point clouds are first fed into a compression module. The compressed representation consists of a sparse point cloud with associated features from which we can restore the input. The points are here colorized by the compression features. The compression network has a small receptor field. Therefore, we use a convolutional feature enhancement network to provide more meaningful features. A single transformer block with cross-attention transforms the features of both point clouds in a common frame. Now that we have for each point cloud the features, we can do the matching based on the feature similarity. Due to the ambiguous areas, partial overlap and missing objects, we cannot always compute a suitable corresponding point. Therefore, we also estimate for each correspondence a weight which we denoted here by the color. The brighter a point, the more influence it has in the registration. The correspondences with their associated weights will be used in the standard direct SVD-based solution to estimate the poses. For this, we can reliably transform point clouds even though they have an initial and misalignment of up to 180 degrees and several meters offset. If we look here, for example, at the poles or walls, we can see that the point clouds are well aligned. Additionally, our approach does not get affected by objects which are only present in one of the two scans. Here we can see the transformations we estimate for a couple of point clouds. We have shown the results on the input point clouds for better visualization, but be aware that the results are computed solely on the sparse compressed data. With our approach, we are able to reliably register point clouds with accuracies of around 10 cm and 0.2 degrees. Due to the compression, we would only need to store 11 GB instead of the 1.3 terabyte of raw data for Kyoto. 
We can do the registration solely on the compressed data and do not need decompression. Thank you very much for your attention.